Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Surviving Mars with the Green Planet Expansion. I hadn't realized quite how green things have gotten. It's been a few days since the last uh, time I recorded one of these. Um, but man, it's nice to get back. I still like how we ended up with these little ridges here. I think they look quite cool, even though it's sort of maybe a mistake, but maybe we'll have to leave them in. Um, we're going to keep playing this game a little bit longer. I think what I'll probably do is try to 100% all the terraforming stuff, which right now the big work is going to be the vegetation here. Um, because, yeah, I mean, unless there's something I'm doing wrong, it looks like there's not a lot of passive vegetation growth that you can do. I mean, the forestation plants, you know, put a few down, but it's still just 0.1% per soul. It looks like the big thing is doing the seed spreading across the planet. But what we do have is we do have massive seed production over here. So we can, in fact, keep uh, keep doing that whenever the mission is uh, coming around, I think. Yeah, cloud, oh, cloud seedings for the rain. You're going to a special project. So we've, we've got a few things going on over here. Man. So many shiny things. This running, how many perks are we getting about? 171. Uh, this giving us a discount to science. We've got this giving us all the metal and rare metals that we're going to need. Uh, concrete was pretty low. So apparently our uh, waste rock processors aren't doing that much. I did just go ahead and give them some factory AI upgrades. And then um, I also did just put down another concrete extractor over here, just uh, in case we do need more concrete for things. Well, if we're gonna build any other domes or anything like that, that certainly will be a thing that happens. That being said, we got so much space in this dome right now. It's crazy. Passenger rocket, yes. I would love to launch a passenger rocket. We need more people to come. And we don't need cargo rockets anymore because we do have a space elevator now, um, which means we can, you know, make money whenever we need to, and we can also import things cheaply and very quickly. You are, uh, you are slow over here. Um, let me go. I guess we just put you down. I'm gonna add grasses, although I don't think a lot of that is gonna happen. I guess I'll add some bushes on here too, um, just for now. Although I suspect. A lot of this won't actually get plucked down at this time. You're waiting for seeds. You might need a dedicated seed storage up here. So let me go and get to do a little seed depot and put in a little desired amount over here for you. Um, and yeah, same thing. We're going to set you up for grasses and bushes. Yeah, so we already have a little bit of grass over here and everything too. Lovely. Yeah, 0.11% per soul. Yeah, that is slow. It really is going to be about bombing the world with seeds. So cloud seeding is done. That's going to cause rain to happen, which is going to improve the soil all over, which is nice. Gravity research is complete. Oh, there's our mega dome unlocked if we do want to. That, that is actually another achievement. So yeah, sort of, kind of. Um, looks like, oh, Martian patents. Well, we'll put it in just because the 3% there is kind of bothering me. Um, and then we'll just keep unlocking a few more things over here we don't have a spire here yet we could get an arcology but i'm actually wondering if we just put a medical dome on this thing actually our medical spire i think that's probably a great idea because we could oh you can have up to three spires in here oh my god well i'll probably only want one medical center i feel like the thing to make this look really cool would be like three arcologies although we could have a spire a network node and uh, something else just to mix it around this is big enough that actually the water reclamation thing might be kind of nice but yeah getting the medical dome for more baby making might be very appreciated i don't know both rockets are back oh this is the one with all our passengers um so i'll drop this one here so they show up on Mars, it's raining, like, ah, oh, damn this weather. It's like, hey, I just spent how many, like, decades or generations terraforming this so you could breathe the air? Like, be appreciative here. Come on. Confusion reactor. Mohol mine's not working. Are you, you must be full. Actually, you're not full. Maybe it was just full for a second here. Oh, yeah, it was the, the metal storage is pretty high up. Um, we do have some extra rare... Oh, no, you actually do need more. Let's get some mega storages here. Um, yeah, for both. I don't know. This way? So there's rare metals and metals metals. Boom. Make sure you give you lots of capacity. There we go. And then pick all that stuff up. 
No, we have yeah, only 11 workers over here, but honestly, it's probably going to be... Okay, you're ready to go back, but hold on. Seed vegetation. Okay, someone's working on that. There's another seed vegetation over there, so we're going to send you there. You are ready. Go. And I think someone else was just refueling. I mean, we could still, still send this for a little bit more science. Greenhouse gases we don't really need. Melt the polar ice caps again. <laughs> um, I mean, water's kind of going up. I think I'm going to cloud seeding some more. Because this should be... Well, it's raising, rising pretty slowly. We might have to do another nuke. We do have the ability to build rockets now. Where would that be? Would that be under here? Yeah, rocket. What do we need for that? 112 metal, 25 electronics, and 50 machine parts. Well, that's probably a lot less painful than 3 billion. In fact, at this point with a space elevator, we can potentially like import stuff for less than 3 billion to build a new rocket, which is kind of interesting. Plus we just make a lot of it in place. So still be looking for that. Yes, very ty various types of crops over here. The leaf crops making us more seeds. Not that we have a shortage of that. I know, maybe we do build another rocket. Honestly kind of sort of okay with this actually we don't have a ton of electronics but yeah let's do it electronic production is pretty high yeah it's it's we're, we're fine on electronics and again we have so much money we could always import some more in case we do get a little bit of a issue there but we still have lots more people we'd like to bring back uh bring home it'd be nice like you can automate your rockets to like export your rare metals, right? It would kind of be nice, and I feel the music's a little loud, it would kind of be nice if you could also automate just bringing more people to Mars. Like, whenever there's a rocket full of people available, you know, whatever your your full number of, of, of people is, I guess it's 52 right now, send it over. Put a standing order for something like that. Uh, that would be kind of nifty. Okay, medical center is done here. We're going to make sure to give you the holographic scanner and the rejuvenation treatment. So comfort treatments as well as more bebe mechan because we need more bebes. Um, new seed vegetation is available. That's good. We'll... Oh, actually, we have a rocket rating. So is it this one? Nope. Is it this one? Nope. Ah, way down here. Seed vegetation. Go, go. Yeah, we'll just keep spamming the heck and heck out of that. Look at all the food being stockpiled over here. It's crazy. These things are working at higher efficiency, 80% boost. Nice. Yeah, we have excess water right now, which means we're not even working our water mines. We don't need them. You are full of concrete over here. Oh, do you not have a concrete mine over here, but not actually a concrete depot for you? Here, let me build a couple of those. So you can actually start working again. Uh, there we go. Seed vegetation is done. We're up to 44%. We'll get another big bloom at 60%. Complete. Home collective. Very nice. We can upgrade buildings to increase their comfort. Uh, and we're kind of going to want to do that. Five polymers. If I control click, it doesn't tell me how much I'm going to spend, but let's do it. Now, this is just, I'm just doing the smart complexes. We'll do a few more. Because um, these are those. Uh, if we have any old outstanding apartments, anything like that, really. See these apartments here. I mean, we already had, we had a decision once we took that boosted their comfort, which is pretty good, but we'll go ahead and boost it some more. That's going to be okay. Um, can we do that to nurseries? No. Now, we might have, yeah, these living complexes. We'll do those as well. All right, so we did burn a lot of polymers here, but I think that's going to be a okay. Vessel. Demise one of the workers bio robotics workshop. Turned out Bez Bella Presley was secretly looking for where to transfer her consciousness into an artificial body. At least 10 attempts were made to do so, ironically with the last attempt causing death to the colonists. While they couldn't transfer their own consciousness into a better body, they somehow managed to imprint both intelligence and self-awareness in the artificial host. Unfortunately, Bella Presley most probably thought their work was taboo and had all their research destroyed before the attempts were made. We're currently not capable to replicate this well. We're receiving 10 bio robot colonists in the dome. A colonist has died. Colonist has died. Research um, that is, colonist there's a breakthrough you can get to build like bio colonists, which is kind of nifty. Uh, Martian patents, right, right, right. That was just that. We have enough money, we could just outsource the tech, but we're also researching very quickly. So, 
Oh yeah, decorations have increased uh, comfort. Actually, let's put that at the top of the queue here. Keep boosting the comfort so we keep making boosting the baby making. We will have to send one of these rockets home so that we can get more colonists soon. Too bad we can't outsource that, too. Like, I'm talking about, like, oh, it'd be nice to automate and everything. It'd also be nice to outsource it. So they just they just arrived, like the space elevator, right? Enable a mode. Uh, yeah, let's launch you. Enable a mode where passengers can arrive via uh, space elevator. That would be nifty cool. Look at all these trees! Oh, so exciting. Um, you over here. Yeah, I'm going to switch you. Um, bushes, grasses, trees. I'm going to... From grasses, I'm going to throw in mixed trees instead. Actually, I guess... We'll just do mixed trees instead of trees. Makes more seeds. Maybe we just do, like, trees. Maybe we won't bother with the others anymore. Just... Just do mixed trees. Like the superior one right now, right? Yeah, I think so. Since this area is so green, and speaking of green areas, this over here. See, so this area is like perfectly, um, how come you aren't getting bushes? Like, I see grasses, why aren't you bushing this thing up? Or treeing it up. Maybe you do do it in cycle. Let's cancel this, just plant trees over here. I'm assuming the soil quality is good enough. I mean, in some parts, certainly, at least. I don't know. There are Earthsick colonists. Oh, why are there Earthsick colonists? How, how is our stuff not awesome enough? What was your problem? No gaming. Funding received. An unprepared meal. Really? Well, we could probably do better. Hang on, what dome is this? This one here? Oh, we don't have enough people here. Not enough workers in the casino thing. Um, but uh, do, 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 do. yeah, you don't have enough. I mean, people can sort of live in different things here. Yeah, we just sort of need more people to arrive. Uh, speaking of which, we just had a shuttle arrive home, a passenger rocket. All right, it's only 24 people, but let's do it. And I think my population, the last time I looked up here, just like two minutes ago, was at 610. Now it's 621, 622, Martian festivals for more comfort. 623, yeah, 625, Mwahaha. There we go. Venus, the planet of love? No, 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 my friend. Mars is the planet of love. Let it be known. So we got some nice clean rain coming down again, improving the soil quality all over the place. I mean, maybe I should be spamming more of these little forestry things, especially since, um, you know, they don't need a power connection. I can just do something like build a little drone hub over here to sort of be ready to extend our, our range. Because, I mean, I need a drone hub to at least, you know, build the things. Let's say we build one over here, too. And yeah, these water things are producing zero water because we don't actually need it. And then what I'll do, yeah, is I'll, I'll just put down some more of these. Um, yeah, we can probably drone hub, say, somewhere over here. And yeah, we'll just, we'll just get it going. Oh no! Tornado! Dust Devil! I guess there's no way to eliminate those. Dust Storms, yes. Dust Devils, no. Alright, passengers here. Let's have you show up down here first. Especially a lot of you guys aren't specialized, so you'll probably want to go to the domes with, um, with the universities. That'll be kind of nice. We got some Earthsick people. Yeah, we can probably just let them go. Keep sort of one rocket at home. Well, I don't know. Right now, there's not going to be anyone there, so... Let's let's nuke the um, the polar ice cap. We can build rockets now. We need a little bit more water. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, I want to go back here. Is there another? Yeah, the only other like break points we've got are the wild vegetation blooms. I don't know if more Research water complete. will increase the rate of rains or whatever. I mean, it will still help the. Um, um, the water vaporators. Fueled extractors so we can burn fuel to make our, our extractors run faster. I don't think I particularly care about that. Um, oh, let's go ahead and put the stem reconstruction up top so people don't retire and die as early. Uh, you're ready to land over here. We can run you on a mission too. I don't know if there's another one we care about right now. Mm, so this is running. That's running. Is there... 
I guess we could look at it here. Yeah, so no, there's there's nothing else. Um, I guess I could capture ice asteroids for more water. That those are all nuking things. Because that the melting the thing's gonna give us 10%. Yeah, we'll throw another 5% from a capture ice asteroids. Temperature. Was it already at 100? Or I guess maybe not. No, because we didn't actually have that milestone. So it's closing at 100% soon, which is nice. And that over here too. I could cut, um, shut down maybe one of these magnetic things and still be stable um, in temperature. In fact, one's shut down now. So I'll turn that off, which will reduce the Mars quakes. Although I guess then we don't get science from you, but I think that's gonna be all right. Actually, I can probably turn the other one off. Let's see, what does that look like? So I don't want this to go down below 100. Well, more importantly, I don't want it to go below 95% because then it stops breathability. But yeah, here we can, we can maintain it. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna keep one on, just as a as a buffer. A new cloud seeding project is now available. I guess I could have clicked on it from the um, from that and probably selected it right away. Oh, we don't have an extra rocket right now. That's okay. I just build more. Yeah, why not? Build me another rocket. <laughs> parting, the parting, the parting, arriving. Milestone achieved. 100% temperature terraforming, 5,000 science. Oh, yeah. 0% per soul. Why are we at 0% per soul? Seed vegetation. More vegetation it is, faster spread. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I'll build a few more of our forestation thingies. Uh, 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 no. Duh, duh, I mean some overlap is fine. Don't have a working drone commander over here. Um, Oh yeah, the lumpy terrain. <laughs> Research complete. Alright, I'm gonna leave it in there because it looks cool. And then a drone. Oops. Commander. Drone hub rather. Right over here. Excellent. Uh we've completed seed vegetation, so we're 54%, stem reconstruction. Um, yeah, I'm going to send you to Earth. That's going to be fine. And blocking object. Oh, there's a broken little drone over here. Right, we had a few get blown up from... I don't know, remember what. Some event, maybe? There was definitely something. That result in some Colonists broken drones. More people departing. Eh, I don't think so, buddy. You're instead going to be doing some more cloud seeding. Make some rain. Make it rain. All right, these are built. So now I can go back to uh, forestation plants. Yeah, I don't know. Overlap seems like it's probably okay. I'm betting it'll just, you know, grow a little faster. Might need to flatten some things out over here. Although that will ruin the fertility of these areas. So let's just do that. Dun dun dun. And we'll let these guys start with fungus, because apparently, yeah, there's no soil quality here. So, you know, the rain says like it improves soil quality, but Yeah, it does, right, yeah. Because it's not it's not zero over here. It actually might even be enough to grow grass right away, I'm not sure. A dust storm is set to hit the event soon. The colony soon. Is it though? Dust storm ends. Oh, it's a great dust storm. This is a special thing. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, things are pretty shut down right now. Uh, we can melt the polar ice caps again. <laughs> maybe, maybe we're responsible for that. Mars Nouveau. Mm, metal and concrete requirements are reduced except for domes. Fair enough. Hopefully we had lots of water stored up. Yeah, we had a fair amount stored up, but... Um, and we do have our mines working now for the water. 
Um, Right, these things are now working over time. Maybe what I'll do um, is I'll give them the fuel extractor and the amplify so that the water extractors run as quickly as they possibly can. I guess our moxies are shut down too. That's true, we can't really do anything about that. Did we get any warning about this? Probably we did. Um, just in case this happens again, I'm gonna build another large water tank and another uh, large oxygen tank. I mean, we already had one of each, plus lots of miscellaneous things. Maybe I should have built them somewhere else, but it does feel fairly centralized here. Low storage. Yeah, that's definitely going down quickly. Um, probably too quickly. That's gonna be an issue. Oh, and you are actually not even working because I think your dumping sites are full. Which is not great. Any other water extraction I can do? I mean, I can just pile on the existing ones. Um, it's very low. It's not good. Uh, I'll, I'll try to get a couple set up though, just just for this particular storm. import water like it's not like we can do anything to prevent that problem the new seed vegetation is available do i have someone around no but i want that that'll bring us up to actually is it five percent per one of those so it won't even bring us to the 60 percent boy bringing the greenery up is a lot of work and yeah without the um the drone or the shuttles working we might not actually be able to, you know, construct this, unfortunately. Domes without life support. I know, I know, 13 more hours, 12 more hours. Just, I don't know, drink your pee or something for a little while. It's gonna be fine. All our farms are gonna be hurt pretty Research badly. Complete. Oh, leak detected's not gonna help. Martian network for the network node. Um, Research lab upgrades with amplify. Sure, sure, sure. Microfusion, it may not do. I don't know, I'll put those. I'll put the extractor AI at the stock at the top just in case we decide to do something funky. Stop with the leaks. Oh, but maybe it, the material's not here. I mean, at this point, no, there was some water. This, yeah, this is terrible. We're low on electronics, too. There's another Mars quake just then. Um, I don't think it's truly going to be a problem. I think there's just a lot of repairs going on right now. But let me import some electronics. At least we're not at risk of running out of food, even if our, some of our harvests go away. Okay, dust storm done. We have a delivery on the space elevator. Yeah, sh heavy shuttle load, no kidding, because there's a bunch of backlog stuff. Uh, no one died. We've got some Earth sick people, which makes sense, because they would be kind of cranky pants about this. And refueling, waiting for payload to arrive. Do we have another... There we go. You. Send expedition. Oh, we still don't have one available. Alright. Okay. Capture ice asteroids is done. 97% water. Okay. That'll probably 100% itself fairly soon. A little water storage. A little polymer storage. We have 130. But yeah, it's because the polymer That's maintenance is so high. high. But we have no production going on right now because we had no water for a while. But we added some extra water storage, so that's going to be really good. What's our power storage at? 11,000. It's probably a decent amount. For a while? I don't know. Um, look at the trees spawning here. Excellent. These guys might be able to get started on grass early. I'm not sure. You're ready to land. Boom. And then, yeah, we'll send you to do the uh, the spreading of seeds. Auto save, auto save, auto save. Colonists are departing. Yeah, no, they're not departing. 
Seed vegetation. Go. Do I have a ship at home? I do. It's only six? Wow. We need more applicants to arrive more faster. Some of the sponsors have that, right? I think so. Seed payload. Of course, we have tons of seeds. We're gaining seeds faster than we can do anything with them. Same thing with the food, really. Well, some of these guys are waiting for various payloads, which should happen. Polymers and fuel. You are a little far away. Um, it's probably just because of the backlog of shuttle stuff. Because I was going to say, there should be polymer and... Well, there's no fuel here. Oh, oh, we have, like, no fuel. Oh, damn. Also, what is this? Overpopulated dome. Right. They'll move now. I mean, we had tons of, like, we have tons of space in other domes. So I think it's going to be fine. But yeah, let's, um, fuel refinery. Let's get a trio of these set up. I don't think I'm going to build a fuel thing here. Uh, we'll accept fuel to be stored. But I'm not going to necessarily get a dedicated fuel storage. Because I want it to spread to existing places. Because this isn't somewhere I necessarily want a ton of fuel to be sitting. Uh, fuel is still going to be lower priority. Um, well, let's go ahead and give them the AI upgrade. Low priority. If we do have a shortage of water, they get the last crack at it. Research complete. Extractor AI. So they can work without people. We might do that. Um, are we going to be done the tech tree? Other than the totally repeatable forever ones? I think so. What I could do here is... I'm sorry, do we have a... Oh my god! I didn't realize the population had grown this much. Too many babies! Too many babies! Oh my gosh! Okay, we have like 800 people now. We've grown like over 200 people in this episode alone. Uh, I'm gonna have to put a cut in here and figure out what to do next. Um, we can probably, we can probably get another electronics factory. We have lots of rare metals. That's not a shortage. So we'll do that, make sure that keeps up. We may as well set up a, a couple more, um, maybe polymer things too. Just scattered around in a few places, uh, to provide jobs. And then we can, I guess, get started with workshops. We've got some in our big first dome. Holy cow. Uh, destroyed vehicles. Uh, there needs to be a bulk, like, salvage button on drones. But yeah, I'm going to cycle through these, get rid of these. We'll put a cut in this episode. And next time, we are going to try to... Oops, not that button, this button. We are going to try to uh, fix our employment problem. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm going to see you guys next time.